Hi everyone, my name is Kanal Batra and I'm a senior technical evangelist here at AWS. And we're lucky to be joined with two of our data AWS heroes. And if you're not familiar with what a hero is, they're community experts who go above and beyond in their AWS expertise and knowledge sharing and giving that back to their communities. So I'll let them make their introductions right now. Hi, yeah, I'm Alex Debris. I work for Serverless Inc. We make the serverless framework, which uh, is a way to deploy, manage and deploy serverless applications. Um, I'm a AWS data hero working mo 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 yeah, mostly with DynamoDB. And hello, everybody. Alvaro or Alvaro Hernandez. I'm the founder and CEO of a company startup called Ongress, which means on Postgres. So we do a lot of R&D on Postgres and databases. Um, and I am also a founder of the Postgres and NPO, the nonprofit organization in Spain, and recently became it also data hero. Thank you guys. So as AWS data heroes, obviously there's a lot of community efforts that go into this. Can you both tell me some of the community efforts that you've done uh, as a hero? Yeah, sure. So I started using DynamoDB uh, four, three or four years ago, and I saw this tick talk by Rick Houlihan that taught you how to model with DynamoDB. I loved it. I watched it a ton over Christmas one year, and I made this resource, dynamodbguide.com, on the internet. It's just like a free resource to get started with Dynamo and understand how to use it. Um, so that's been my, my big contribution to the community. I've also done a few talks at AWS summits and, and here at reInvent as well. Well, um, if anything, I, I love Postgres. It's a, it's a database about community. So uh, I've been doing a lot of efforts towards Postgres community mainly. I founded the Postgres user group in Spain, which is still uh, one of the 10 largest Postgres user groups in the world. And then we built this uh, Postgres foundation, a nonprofit to support Postgres, uh, where I had to bootstrap it and personally donated 30,000 uh, euros to bootstrap this uh, foundation. And we're organizing a yearly conference in Spain International Postgres Conference in the a beautiful island of Ibiza. We also organize, of course, talks with the Amazon Meetup in, in Madrid. We, I spoke there three weeks ago, and I'm very frequently speaking at other Postgres database and even programming conference around the world. That's awesome. Thanks, guys. So the thing I want to hear about, and let's tell our audience as well, is what are the, um, either the most impactful community event or project that you've done so far as an AWS data hero or prior to that? Yeah, sure. I think for me, it's, it's going back to that uh, DynamoDB guide, just making uh, DynamoDB data modeling and, and querying and all that more accessible to more, to more users. Um, also, you know, for my job, I work for Serverless Inc. We have a server, an open source project that helps um, deploy AWS Lambda applications. A lot of people are using DynamoDB there. So uh, really been enjoying working with the developer community, engaging with them on Twitter and at events like this as well. And just really quickly, what was the catalyst for DynamoDB guide? Uh, yeah, I, I, I'd say for me, it was um, finding out that I did not know how to uh, model in, in DynamoDB, learning all this stuff from Rick Houlihan, and, and wishing other people knew it as well. So really, I made the resource that I wish I had uh, when I got started with DynamoDB. That's so, awesome. Yep. Well, I would say that one of the projects I, I love the most is a website called PostgreSQLCaw.nf. It's similar to the PostgreSQL.com file, which is the configuration for Postgres. Tuning Postgres is a very hard job, and users struggle with that. So we created this website to contain recommendations, detailed documentation, uh, tra translated to several languages, and also is able soon to pull configurations from RDS and pull them back so that users can have a graphical web UI to tune and help to Postgres take the max performance out of it. And just quickly, what was the catalyst for that, and when did you create it? Well, it was, it was launched recently, uh, but actually it was the difficulty that we perceived that people have when, you know, Postgres can be tuned for, uh, has more than 300 tunable parameters, right? And that is a hard job for anybody. Awesome. And so we have uh, 30 seconds left. What are some uh, kind of calls to actions for our audience to find out more about what's happening with each of you and your communities? Any projects or any talks that you've done that you want to let them know about? Yeah, sure. For me, I'd say just, you know, go check out dynamodbguide.com or my blog, alexdebris.com. Um, I gave a talk um, Monday that was uh, CMY304 on data modeling with DynamoDB. Check that out on YouTube as well. And as for me, I would say go to aht.es, aht.es, that is my website. I have there all the talks that I have given. Next year, I'll make my 100th talk. And all the slides, videos, uh, abstracts, uh, and open source contributions are there. So feel free to go and check them out. Great. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, everyone.